So good morning from Op Luang National Park, uh, just outside a town called Hot. Uh, and we're about 50 odd kilometres south of where I stayed overnight in, uh, where did I stay? Chom, Chom Tong. And this is day two. Uh, and today we're going to visit this uh, national park with this, which is a gorge and it's got some prehistoric stuff here as well. So uh, let's take a look around. So we're at the main point within the uh, National Park, which is this gorge and these two rocks. These are called Kissing Rocks. You can see right in the middle there, I think they're pretty much touching each other. And by them, <laughs> there's a trail that goes round, because there's some other features to see. I'll just show you a map of what there is here. There's a trail that goes on for about a kilometre and you have to cross have to cross over that bridge <laughs> right up the top there uh, that looks a bit scary to me so we're making our way up to the bridge wish me luck <laughs> it's an amazing place I think I need to go on a diet <laughs> Wait for these two people to cross over. Just in case. <laughs> Alright. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> oh dear. What a view. <laughs> not too sure about this at all so I'm not going to hang around so there's a trail on this side of the uh, bridge I guess we start going up this way but uh, it's a bit of a climb I've got some Rock paintings and So we're now at uh, Pa Chang Cliff, which features some uh, rock paintings. These date back about two and a half to three thousand years. And they used to be hunter gatherers in this area about 28,000 years ago. So it says here on the blurb. Show you what they think these animals are. So not very easy to find.
and that's the road up there. So we made it back to the bridge. That took about mm, a little over an hour to do that trail. So I made it. Can I make it across the bridge again? <laughs> Find out next week. <sighs> but I'm not gonna put it on camera this time. I'm just gonna cross it and not look down or film. See you on the other side, hopefully. I made it. <laughs> So no headline news from Thailand. I just ran across and held the rail. That's one scary bridge and it's very high up. <laughs> Look at that. A bit rusty iron. Mm. Anyway, let's get back to the bike and go to the, uh, the next site. So this is uh, Passing Lu. I put the name up, I probably mispronounced it, but it's another sandstone feature like the one we saw, uh, which was Pa Chor yesterday. Uh, and this one's free. I think we can only view it from a distance here, which is uh, fine by me. Although there are white posts sticking out over there, look. So you might be able to walk along the ridge but we're just going to see it from a distance We're now on the platform right up against this uh, feature. Shame the sun's not out because it would be really nice in the sunlight. It's quite impressive. So we're now at um, Doi Tao Lake and there are some restaurants uh, right on the lake but I, I didn't know that before I got here and I bought some food to eat somewhere by the lake and all there is are cows and a dog. I'll show you the dog. <laughs> Here's the dog. Say hello. Hello. You're not having my sandwich. So, yeah, it's a bit weird place. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's been maintained for several years. But, um, just eat with a herd of cows. Why not? Thank you. 
that was a long drive. I think we did about 70 odd kilometers since the, uh, the lake. Um, I'm now just uh, south of uh, Lee, about five kilometers or so. And uh, I think this town is called Ban Hue Tom. And this uh, sheddy, very modern sheddy, uh, is 64 meters high and it's modeled on a very famous sheddy in uh, Yangon called Shredagon Sheddy, which is pretty ancient. So uh, let's take a look around. Looks like this place is still in the process of being built. They built these sort of cloisters all around it. There's absolutely nothing inside them. So we're now in the town of uh, Lee, which is uh, where I'm going to stay tonight. And this temple, which is called Wat Pratat Ha Duang, I think it means Temple of the Five Fireballs or something to do with lighting balls. There's a legend that goes back to Queen Kamadevi's time. And Queen Kamadevi is a legendary ruler of Harry Ponchai, which is today's uh, modern lampoon. And I'll explain a bit more of this legend uh, in the voiceover. So according to legend, Queen Kamadevi heard news from the people of Lee that there were five lighting bulls there that seemed to appear very often. She came to see them for herself and one night saw the light from these five lighting bulls that appeared to be floating above five piles of soil. She inquired about what was happening and was informed that it was the water of washing hands where Lord Buddha had washed with the water having flowed through his five fingers onto the ground. Having heard this story, she commissioned a chedi be built covering the five piles of soil in order to preserve them for prosperity. So this is the uh, last site today to visit and it's right in the middle of uh, Lee Town and this is the Three Kruber Monument and it's dedicated to these uh, three monks. I think the middle one, if you can hear me over the traffic, I think the middle one is uh, our friend the engineering monk Sri Vijay who was uh, responsible for building the road up to uh, Doi Satep in Chiang Mai. You can watch more about that in the top right hand corner. But anyway, this uh, monument was actually built to uh, co commemorate the, the last king's, Rama IX's uh, 84th birthday, as well as the 100th anniversary of the uh, founding of Lee District.
So I'm in the Fun Wan Resort and I've got another little bungalow where you can just park your car outside and right out front. And then this is the uh, resort. <laughs> Member of staff. So they've got little cottages all over. Very sweet. And this cost me 600 baht, uh, excluding breakfast. Breakfast is only 100 baht, and that's uh, like a cooked breakfast with a croissant, which I've just ordered for hopefully 8 o'clock, 8.30 tomorrow morning. So that's it for now. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then uh, give me a big thumbs up down below, or why not subscribe to my channel as well? And I'll see you in part three. Bye for now.